<laughs> this is actually legal. Uh, if it's in a bike older than 30 years, you can ask you to use your hands as cool. indicators. Jazz so hands. Just, yeah. Jazz hands. <laughs> Okay, so what are we looking at? So this is a Yamaha XS 1100 from 1981. 81, and, right? Yeah, <clears throat> and uh, I got it uh, half done. So the main parts were already fixed, the, the engine. Uh, the air filters were already kind of as they are. Uh, pulled off the, the big... Um, air can and, and put on some uh, oval shaped filters which uh, worked fine. The, the last bike I had I put on round and they never really worked well. Okay. But the oval ones uh, doing a really good job. Um, so I didn't redo the, the tank. That was kind of the, the first thought. When I got it, because the, the graphics are... Why would uh, you want to change that tank? We need to talk about the tank. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so, so what? I mean, it's, it's insanely well made. It's, it says it's made in 96, and it's done by a German artist. But the bike is German from, from the get-go. Okay. And the, I mean, the pictures are very strange. Uh, naked elves. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So, I mean, the question I is thought, how 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 many drugs were involved in this? Yes, I, I, <laughs> there's some mushroom elves in here, and I think there was some mushrooms involved in the the making. But the artwork itself is insanely well made. But this isn't the original saddle, is it? There was a no. So the the back end uh, I redid. So th this is an off the shelf. Um, back end that I uh, remodeled uh, to fit with um, the rear lights. Do you still have the rear end? Because that um, had paintwork as well. Didn't you? Well, I have it. It's the one I made into a little buggy. True to see? So, so this is what this I is, made. This is true custom work. Yes, mm. true custom works for the kids. So just something they, they can pull along. <laughs> so this is the original, <laughs> the original saddle with some... Uh, oh yeah, so it's like a goblin butt with a Dragon. Exactly. Thing. We should just do a video on this on its own at some point. Yeah. This is a... It's, uh, <laughs> it's a good construction by my son. Yep. So this part was um, the, the welding I did, putting on um, a new end to uh, yeah to the end of the bike, and with a light that fit snugly underneath, and then I just cut this um, saddle part off okay. to fit nicely. So there's not a lot of fender on it really nope pretty naked <laughs> yeah so the saddle was also a part of this uh so it's just one piece um, that i that i switched so i didn't redo that much just um the exhaust system uh, with some fiber uh glass oh, so you've wrapped this it in yeah the i wrapped yeah. i wrapped it it wasn't like that um, and, it, and obviously, if anyone follows the uh, the Instagram, <laughs> they might remember a video where maybe your baffle or part of your muffler just kind of fed out. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the muffler piece has a story on its own because there was a um, acoustic isolation inside, and it, it worked well, even though the sound was uh, extremely loud. But at one time, when me and Nick were out riding, it just flew out. Um, and he has that on, on video. And at that point I was like, oh, I need, to, I need to fix that. And I pulled this off and I just couldn't, I couldn't understand it because there was, no, it, there was no connection points to any like internal uh, muffler. Um, like yeah, normally you got a baffle in there, like the yeah, DB the, killer. The baffle, the DB killer, there was nothing. So I couldn't... I didn't get it, and then one day I was just like, ah, oh, it's not a bike part, it's from a car. <laughs> <laughs> so it's one of those cans you see on like an old Toyota or something that... Like, boy racer. People, yeah, boy racer where they want to make it look cool. 
but it just so so I, I'm not sure what to do I just try to put in a DB killer now but it doesn't really fit um, and it doesn't doesn't really work actually uh, it made the, the bike go a lot worse so uh, I need to solve this as the next okay and it's it's four into one because I'm trying to think is, is the original yeah. four into two or is that also four into one uh, no I think the original was uh, four into one actually not sure I'd have to double check because I know there were differences between the, the US and the European version so yeah. I don't know if that was one of the key key changes yeah I don't think the exhaust is the original but it was the exhaust I didn't change the exhaust it was already a four to one when I got the bike so pegs so these are new these are new yeah. okay and where were the original pit and pegs? The same position or? Uh, same position, yeah. But they All were right. like uh, these really Huge. Clum, clum, uh, clumsy, um, uh, old worn down rubber parts. Mm -hmm. So that was just something I threw on that fit. And it's, um, you got your clip-ons. Yep. And it's been slammed quite a bit. I mean, that's kind of... Yeah, so that's uh, one of the big things about riding the bike. It's been slammed about 10 centimeters. Yeah, which yeah makes it uh, quite heavy to turn uh, but also it's uh, like when you're riding the contact that you have with the bike it's amazing uh, and it works really well actually because um, you're quite tall yes I am quite tall. <laughs> we don't really have anything for reference but I've ridden this bike and it kind of felt like my face was in <laughs> you know I was like my face was here you know I'm, I'm not particularly short but not particularly tall either and I think this is yeah, quite suited for a, a tall person. Yeah, I remember buying the bike. I came to the guy and he was like, "Oh, that's great that you're tall because this bike is really uh, you need a tall person to <laughs> ride it because it's it's very it's set up to be quite a, a, a very forward leaning position. Yeah. Um, so that works out really well actually. I'm I'm really comfortable on the bike. So you haven't had to adjust this in any way. It was no, good I from there. No, as it is. Uh, and uh, well, I guess this isn't the original speedo. No, so so this is this is new. The speedometer, the headlight is new. The the handlebars, but that that was actually my main new mission um, for the next step is to clean this part up because I, like the the holders for the original handlebars are still here, and I would okay. like to get rid of that and get a new ignition, uh, and that's why your work with. Um, uh, uh, M unit is mm. interesting because then I could get rid of this uh, and clean that up, move the speedometer to the center yep. where the, the key is now. Um, so that would be the... Are you thinking a, a new yoke or would you kind of grind this down and work with that? Uh, with the budget I usually put to my renovation, there's definitely grinding involved. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I actually haven't checked of... Uh, a new custom yoke that could maybe be a uh, plan. So I think that's more or less it. Otherwise, it's just a small, small adjustment like the oil filters and the, mm -hmm. the air filters that, um, that I've changed. Well, then I think we should see you on it and hear it. Yep. Let's do it.
remember there is a stupid thing here that I, because of the, uh, the clip-ons, when you turn the, the handle full to your right, mm -hmm. you hit the, the start button on, <laughs> Okay. which has caused some issues. Ah, <laughs> so we should only turn left yes. on our next outing. Well. Quick question, but no indicators. Yes, so I use, <laughs> this is actually legal. Uh, if it's in a bike older than 30 years, you can actually you use your hands as cool. indicators. Jazz so hands. Just, yeah. Jazz hands. <laughs> um, and nobody stopped me so far. They got to catch you first. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, that won't be an issue. It's not that fast. But if you go over to the M unit, you could just replace all of that as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah.